Welcome, Dave Nordell. <laughs> thanks, Mark. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for coming down to read your book, uh, Giving Back. And I'm just kind of curious about the book, but first of all, I'd like to just hear a little bit about you. And then I yes. left home when I was 19. I joined the United States Air Force. Uh, I wanted to be a plumber. They made me a medic. Uh, it was a good call on the Air Force's part. They lined me up appropriately. And kind of off I went for the next 30 years. And that took me uh, through 15 assignments, and I lived on every continent except Antarctica and, uh, and a lot of foreign countries. And it took me through all extremely uh, wonderful experience with leadership and people and diversity and equity and, and inclusion. Like I always tell people my DEI journey started in a barracks in 1984 in December. Uh, and I, you know, with 50 guys from all over the nation, and you really start to learn about people. So you you have a 30 year career in, in the military, correct? And uh, so, what do you do now? Well, through my military career, as I picked up education and, and degrees, I, uh, I'm a, a registered nurse, emergency room shock mm. trauma nurse, and, and that's you know that's the way I operated during my my field time, my combat time. Uh, and there's some of that in in the, in the book. I did my graduate degree or my, my, my master's degree in emergency management, so I'm the guy that, uh, that tells you uh, which direction to drive and how to get out of town when the hurricane's coming, and I do all the planning and the exercises. I'm that guy, and we've seen a lot of those people on TV through COVID and those kind of things. You know, it's, it, it's a lot of trouble to write a book, as you, as you know, um, and people really have to be passionate about it, and I'm wondering where did the passion come from that drove you to write this book? I think we talked a little bit earlier about statistics, right? So out of every hundred people that really desire to write a book, half of one person get it, gets it written. I think that's the oh, stats. That's true. That's generous, you know, it's, yeah. yeah, it's 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 really really low. I don't think unless you're so egomaniacal that you can conceive a book in your head and be and be driven all by yourself to complete it. I don't think that, especially a book like this. I don't think it gets started, written, edited beat up on, published, uh, you got to write checks to make it happen, uh, and you have to follow it you know, day in and day out for a while, and, and, and all the things that go along with it. I don't think it comes without people um, cheering you along, so you need cheerleaders, you need your inner circle of people that, that have faith in you, and that believe in, in what you're writing, and you need, you need some collaboration, so that's sometimes people just approve for things or where to tell you. So the book is a leadership book, but it's also a life book, and, uh, and then the giving back is kind of self-explanatory. I think that as we collect all these nuggets in life and, and, and we walk through, through, uh, through life, you can do a couple things. One is you can move on to the next life with all your nuggets, or you can leave some things behind and hopefully make an impression on somebody that makes their life either a little bit easier or makes them introspective so they're at least healthier emotionally, physically, spiritually, however that works. So uh, that was the goal. Uh, never intended to never intended to write a book. I just I, I tend to lead and, and direct in stories and So those people that are close enough to me that are sick of my stories told me I should probably write all this stuff down And so they challenged me in January I started writing and we had a book by June and and there's some carryover so there's probably a second book behind it so, uh, the chapters in the book are really short and I wanted it because I wanted people to be able to consume two chapters and be able to go to bed and then and then you know wake up and and do that and then so some of the people sitting here in the room with us would tell you that some of my chapters are too short so it's uh, and that, that's great it's you know because people want people want more so I, you don't I don't I'm, I'm an author of one book so I'm not a Stephen King uh, but I will tell you that I don't think Stephen King made it where he's at without the right people around him with the right encouragement and the right inspiration. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, and so uh, it's it's not a, it's a team sport, believe it or not. People, you get, I get to put my name on the book, but um, uh, my, my, my best friend here, Darla, is the, the one that wrote the foreword for the book, and it was easy for me to pick her, but she had to write it, and that wasn't easy either. So 
it, uh, it's, it's, all, it's all collaborative. And without the people in my lives that mentored me and put me in these situations, I guess there's nothing to write. Interesting. And so, and that's okay. And, then, and like I like to tell people, and I think it's very important, is I, you know, I have PTSD. I have to deal with those mm -hmm. things, and I get help for that. And, uh, and the book has some of that in there, and it's a great platform for me to be able to look my fellow veterans in the eye and my fellow human beings in the eye. And uh, maybe we'll maybe maybe work through this stigma. Uh, Montana has some of the highest suicide rates per capita, especially amongst our veterans and our and our farm populations. And we really need to start having some conversations about that because when people talk about it and they they, they figure out uh, that the stigma doesn't need to be there and that they can get help, it's important. Well, I mean, Montana has a very high percentage of uh, veterans actually. Right. Um, per capita, we're, we're very high. I'm trying to remember just how we rank, but yeah, we're in nation. We're in the top three, depending on what year you okay. kind of what kind of look yeah. at that. We're in the we're in the top three, but that also comes with we lose 20, 22 veterans a day uh, to suicide. I heard some data today, and I'm not going to get it exactly right, but um, every 30, 30 minutes, I think we we lose somebody to suicide. So yeah, uh, it's important stuff. And uh, there's stuff out there to help, like the horses, so. Yeah, now you mentioned the horses. You, you're involved with a, a charitable organization that provides therapy to veterans. Correct. Using so, horses. Correct. So What's that about? I'm on the board of directors of Horses Spirits Healing. Uh, Horses Spirits Healing is, is uh, a nonprofit organization. It's here locally. They, they run out of the Intermountain Equestrian Center off of, off of, the, off of Three North just before you get to the restaurant there at Three North off to the left. And what we are is we're a nonprofit organization that uses equine therapy to help veterans, veterans, families, uh, first responders, and then most recently through a grant uh, organization, um, a, a joint venture with MSUB to work with our college students that have trauma and that are working with a counselor. So they get referred by a counselor to our uh, professional equine therapists and they're integrated with the horse in conjunction with the rest of their therapies. And through Columbia University and the studies that they've done with us, we're one of four in the nation that they chose to study. Through Columbia University, we've, um, uh, through solid data and research, uh, you can correlate, and I'll, I'm gonna make some numbers up, but it'll make it easier for people. If you have a PTSD score of 100 and you come out to the horses and we introduce the horse, you quickly can get to a PTSD score of 70 or lower. So it's a significant change with the horse. Now, you need to meet criteria before you meet your horse, and it is your horse. Uh, the veterans' families are, utilize our programs two or three to one, and I totally agree with that because as I was leading in the military and dealing with a lot of these issues, I found that when we really had to deal with, a, with an active duty member that was struggling, when you integrated their families into their treatment, it just was, it was much easier and it made much more sense. So we're doing a good job with that, and that, make, that does make us unique to other programs. Hmm. So our big thing is, is that uh, in, in some of the larger programs that you see on television or in, in uh, commercials, uh, the ratio of, you know, if you give $100, a certain amount has to go to overhead. And in our organization, if you give $100 uh, to Horses Spirits Healing, 91 of those dollars make it directly to the veteran. Mm -hmm. So all of us working for it, we do it for free, uh, short, of, um, short of our paid equine therapist so that's, well, that's, that's, that's a very good ratio of uh, you know yeah. contribution to service and we got well thanks I sure appreciate it thanks thank you thank you uh, this this relationship with the house of books has been wonderful and well you know warm well received and it's cooperative so you know the, the local authors you embrace us and, and give us opportunities so I appreciate that there's a lot of book we're sitting in the we're sitting in the store now there's a lot of books around us and uh, you know, people need to come down here and you know, get a book and go have some chocolate, or get some chocolate and go have a book, and you can do it all in 25 steps. So, there you go. so it's um, so it's pretty neat. And, and Mark, I know you do this all volunteer, and so I truly appreciate the time and effort. And you've given me a little bit of mentorship too. So as, yeah. as the book goes, <laughs> you've given me a little bit of mentorship on this first-time author thing, and I appreciate that. And I hope that I can keep the relationship, so I can ask a few questions as I as I go along. So. Well, that'd be great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah.
This has been a production of This House of Books.